This is David Holt, IV Consultant. A short discussion on the use of colistin, IV piggyback, and how to give it a full dose. Colistin came along around 1959 and was extremely useful against gram-negative bacteria. Unfortunately, it causes nephrotoxicity and also neurotoxicity. So in the early 80s, it was essentially discontinued and it went into hibernation. Many fridges and the manufacturers no doubt were disturbed that they were no longer making money from us. However, multi-drug resistant organisms soon came along. The Marsas, the uh, Pseudomonases, Klebsiellas, and especially a Cynotobacter. And so colistin came back into favor as the drug of last resort. The problem, of course, didn't change in terms of it being bad for the kidneys or our brains, and so extreme care needs to be taken when we are giving it. Our duty as nurses, of course, our primary duty is to make sure that A, kidney function is good, creatinine clearance, etc., and B, that we give the full dose of colistin, or else, as this is probably going to be the last antibiotic that the bacteria is responsive to, it will then be resistant to all antibiotics known to us. So, my focus is on giving full doses of IV antibiotics, and so we use Holtz, Holtz IV rule number two, and if it, the antibiotic comes in a 100cc bag, you will need to program your volume to be infused on your IV pump for approximately 140 to 145 cc's. That number comes from the volume in the bag, 100, plus 10%, which is the typical overfill. Remember that that is not additional drug. It just means that the drug was diluted in about 110 cc's. So you have to infuse the entire 110 cc's in order for your patient to get their dose. Next up, you have the IV tubing. So it's a main line of about 22 cc's plus a secondary tubing set of 8 to 10 cc's. So that gives you about 140 cc's which you need to program into the volume to be infused section of your IV pump. If the colistin came in a 200 cc bag, the Holt IV rule number two will give you approximately 250 to 260 cc's to program into your pump. The rates for your IV piggyback will be based on how fast the IV is to go in. If it's 100 to go in over 30 minutes, it's going to be 200 cc's, and that will not change. If it's a 200 cc bag to be infused in one hour, it'll be 200 for the rate, or if it's to be infused over 30 minutes, the rate would be 400. So please abide by the rules, the Holt IV rules. If you're only using a one tubing setup, you need to make sure you read my IV policy number two in my other book about IV policies and make sure that you attach after the bag is empty, you need to replace that empty bag with a 50cc bag of compatible solution and reprogram your pump for another 30 or so cc's to flush out your IV tubing. Otherwise, your patient, when you use a one tubing setup, will never get their full dose of IV antibiotic. And as colistin, it's even more vital that your patient, who's probably extremely sick, gets his or her full dose. Even if your patient's also getting the drug via updrafts, it is still vital that they get their antibiotics. So good luck to you, and... Uh, Take care of yourself because this is a very stinky antibiotic.
but very useful.